welcome to a little bit of detail with my friend here who's rocking out. Right? If you zoom in, it's a pretty uh, pixelated photograph, but we're going to go to the detail window and kind of move around. Let's make sure we're looking at a part where we can see the noise. So this image is noisy, right? Uh, if we want, I don't have the original information uh, about what the ISO was, but it says in the Scott Kelby book, it was taken at 25,600 ISO handheld at night. So the noise reduction is definitely going to be something that we can use. If we go to detail, we're not going to sharpen it. We'll get to sharpening in another video. We're going to work with noise reduction. There are two kinds of noise in a photograph. One is luminance, which is just like black and white noise. And you'll see that in the shadows or some images where it just looks super grainy, but the grain will look black and white. Color noise is where the actual parts um, that look noisy have red, green, and blue in them. Okay, so we can bring up the luminance noise and you can see right in here where it automatically makes a difference. So we go from this being very, very noisy in here to being much softer in through here. I mean, look at the quality of the tree and of the people here. You don't want to go too far with the noise reduction or else it can give it kind of a painterly effect and you lose a bit of the sense of photographic. So I like to keep the detail up too. You can experiment with uh, the contrast. This, um, the contrast slider, pulling it to the right, protects the photo's contrast, but it might give you blotchy looking areas, right? So we've got to be careful. It protects the contrast so it doesn't get too mushy, but when you zoom back out, you want to make sure that you're not getting areas that look blotchy or look super pixelated, okay? So that would be uh, if you were working with luminance noise. If we are working with color noise, it works very much the same way. I can see a lot of color noise in here. Probably It's probably hard to see on the projector, but when you um, get this image and you're working on it, and it can drag that up. The detail slider, if you drag it a little to the left, you'll be sacrificing a little bit of detail, and it'll be, too, it'll be kind of smooth. So I like to keep it right in the middle because I don't want too much detail or too little detail. And you'll see when you overcorrect something for noise reduction, it can look, like I said, painterly or a little mushy. And then you've got the smoothness that you can play with. I like to leave the smoothness kind of in the center. So noise reduction is very cool for when you have areas that are distracting and how noisy they are. So I'm gonna zero this out. Sound good? That's one you always wanna check.